All right, Ron, with Christmas right around the corner, the Metropolitan Interfaith Association, or MIFA, says it needs donations now more than ever after catalytic converters were stolen off of several of their delivery vans. Action News 5's Sydney Gray joins us live to explain how all this happened over the weekend and what you can do to help. Sydney? Hey, Joe, good evening. So the staff members here at MIFA tell me that these thefts actually couldn't have come at a worse time. They are gearing up to deliver double the meals next week, and they say that the thefts are going to make that a lot harder now. It's really creating a bottleneck for, for us right now. Meals on Wheels staff say they're frustrated and angry after five catalytic converters were stolen off vans in their fleet. Well, we started coming in about 6.30 this morning, and when we went to warm up the vehicles for the day, when we turned them on, it was, you know, a very loud noise, so we knew at that time that our Cadillac converters had been taken off of our vehicles. Craig Woods, director of fleet management for Meals on Wheels, says they suspect someone cut the metal fence to get inside. Precious metals inside those converters can cost thousands. It's, it's very, like, heartbreaking, you know, that these things could possibly not get their meal and someone would just come in and take this Cadillac converters off knowing, you know, we do, this is what we do daily. The seniors were able to get their meals Monday, but the theft puts them in a tight spot. Driver routes include 60 to 70 stops, so losing the vehicle significantly increases the workload. Well, we noticed uh, the back of the fence uh, had been cut. Uh, two of the bars have been cutting out the back of the fence and that someone was, couldn't have been a big person, but someone was able to squeeze in through the back, through the back gate. Right now, MIFA needs your donations and volunteer time. This is very critical because next week is our Christmas delivery, so we're doubling up on boxes. So it's going to, we're going to need additional space. So we're probably not going to be able to double up next week because we really need those vehicles because the, the routes are going to be big because we're giving the seniors, you know, two times the amount of food. Well, Woods also tells me that a Meals on Wheels driver was actually carjacked earlier this summer. Because of that, they are now installing GPS trackers on those vehicles. So just one other reason that they really need donations here at MIFA. I'm live downtown Sydney Gray, Action News 5.